what's up guys welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations so if you're watching this video I'm pretty sure you're really trying to avoid buying that 200 plus dollar tool that is out there for this tensioner which is down there on this Malibu so this tensioner is found on a variety of other vehicles that have that start stop technology in them where you know it shuts off at every stop so the tool that you're probably seeing on the webs is this one well I made this tool for free because I had these things laying around so I cut this strip at approximately 14 inches long and then the width of it is approximately an inch wide and then you need to find yourself a nut and bolt that are approximately well the nut that is approximately uh, an inch wide preferably a little bit wider than one inch but one inch will do and then what you're going to do is you're going to drill a hole at two ends of your strip and that is where you're going to weld directly to your nut and then you can run some other beads right here along the sides just to fully secure that little strip of metal all the way across so the way this works is you're going to come down with your tool and then you're going to slide it over the top of it like that okay and once you're in you're simply going to start rotating this and it's going to start applying pressure at this top section where it says top right now if your bolt has a little pointy section like this you are going to leave a little divot right on the top right there where it says top you're probably gonna punch a little spot right there but you're not gonna hurt anything you're not going to you're not going to crack this or anything like that by using this method I've done it several times. I've never had a problem. Vehicles are still running today. Now, just to verify the measurements, so I've got my tape measure right here. We are at approximately five inches wide at the opening of the tool that you need to make. So that tells you the distance that you need to have this at before you do your welding. And then of course, you need to be able to back out your screw a little bit so that you can put it inside and you can actually slide it in with ease. Side dimension, as I said, about an inch. The width here. The reason I use a strip is because it's malleable. I can flex it, I can open it up, you know, if it doesn't fit 100% right. But this tool right here is definitely gonna save you over $200 just to start the serpentine belt replacement. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, share, or subscribe, whichever one. It helps me out, helps my channel grow. Till next time, guys, be safe.